Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick overview related to grounding and cable modems. So a lot of people get hit by lightning surges, for example, that come in from the street and hop right into their house, fry the cable modem, sometimes fry equipment past the cable modem through the ethernet cable. So one thing you want to watch out for is out here on the DMARC box, before it even enters your house, you're going to have a little connector here. This is the, pretty much the DMARC. So it comes in from the road and goes into your house. You want to make sure this is grounded. Sometimes people forget to ground this or there's nothing nearby for the installer to ground to. And instead of putting a grounding rod into the ground and grounding it properly, they'll just leave it ungrounded. So this is the first thing you want to check. Now, even in apartment buildings, older apartment buildings and office complexes, there usually is just one of these protecting the whole building before it goes into a splitter. So you want to make sure before you do anything, you want to make sure this is grounded to a good ground before you go inside and start looking at the grounds in there. So we'll go check that next. Here we have the coax coming in from outside, which we saw was already grounded. It goes into our splitter, and then we have a ground here. So the splitter itself is grounded. So if any surges come in from outside and make it past that first ground, it's got a chance to go to ground again here before it goes to the cable modem. This you don't need a fancy splitter like this one. Um, usually even the cheap ones at Home Depot have a spot for ground. It comes in handy if you're in an apartment building or an office complex where you just have the coax coming into your suite and you don't know if the DMARC itself was grounded or not. You can just go get a cheap little splitter and ground that right in your IT closet before it plugs into the cable modem. So now down here at the cable modem, we're grounded in two spots before it even gets to the modem for the coax itself. And then you just want to make sure your AC power is plugged into a UPS to protect from surges coming in from the power company itself. So now every, everything coming into here is grounded. So we're pretty much safe bet to say that going out to your expensive equipment, there won't be any surges because the surges most likely won't even reach this point. So now we're pretty well protected. So it's just a couple things to check before you fry any expensive equipment on the other end of this ethernet. Thanks for watching.